Andy Borcher. We did everything we could to lose that ball game, but our kids kept battling, and we found a way to, to win it at the end. And I'll tell you, that's a heck of a football team we beat, and, and to be able to hold that team to 15 points says a lot about our kids. You know, they kind of got the momentum back there with that safety in the first half and scored, and you know our kids kept battling. And I'll tell you what, that you know I told people that I didn't think it would be a 58-51 ball game, but I sure the hell didn't think it would be a 17-15 ball game either. Who got the Who got the fumble from uh, Geisler? Yeah, was, I, I didn't. Lucas I, I, have no I have no idea. It was 52. At this point, it doesn't matter. It was somebody, and we got the ball back. Well, the bottom line is Cooper was disciplined against their running attack, and you know they there are times they might get five yards, but they didn't get the big play. So how how far did that go in the win? Well, you know, I think they had close to 700 yards or maybe even more than 700 yards the first half or the first game. And it's kind of a gut check for us, and, and we knew we had to get better defensively. And our defensive staff has, has done a heck of a job this year, especially the second half of the season, getting our kids prepared and, and being able to stop the run. And, you know, we knew we were going to have to stop the run. We knew they were going to want to run the ball on us. And, you know, they got some yards, but our guys did a heck of a job keeping them out of the end zone and getting stopped when we needed them. So it's kind of appropriate that the – that the uh, fumble recovery and the interception kind of sealed the win. Yeah, it did. The way the defense did. Yes, absolutely. And I'll tell you, um, you know, throughout the playoffs, you know, we, we've really been winning the um, turnover battle. And, you know, tonight we really weren't until the very end. And we got two two big ones at the very end of the ball game that kind of sealed it for us. What Good. do you say about this team? You go three away games to get to the state championship and, and win, all, win all three. Man, I'll tell you, you can't say enough about this team, the leadership on this team, you know, the Jack Lonikers and the Lucas Hughes that's been with us for the last three years and our seniors. And, you know, I'm so happy for those guys to be able to celebrate and the Mason Basils, you know. Those guys have put the time in, and, and it, you know, wasn't always easy. And, and then you got the, the junior leaderships and sprinkled in some sophomores. And it's just a great group of kids, and, and, you know, they all, they've all come together. and. And, you know, it shows what, what we could do tonight. So no no qualms about this being their first state championship game for all these guys? Uh, after what they've been through the last three weeks? Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, they'll be ready. And, and you know, we'll have, I don't know who won tonight, but we'll have a we'll have a battle again. And, and we're going to let them celebrate tonight. Come tomorrow morning, we're getting ready for whoever we're playing. Okay, talk about the, the fourth down play. Um, you know, some people say, oh, only a couple inches should go for it. But you kick inside the let your kicker take it and he gets the game winning field goal so why should the, the call work, work out in Cooper's favor uh, you know you're going to rather be a genius or an idiot and, and uh, luckily for us tonight you know that call <laughs> was a good call for us but you know like you said like we said earlier our defense was playing lights out all night and you know you, you want to give your you know kind of lean on what you got you know it was hard hard getting points especially that second half so you know, we thought if we could get the points and get up with, with a team that loves to run the ball with about four minutes left, we were going to take our opportunity or our chances with that. And then talk about the mental toughness of the kids. You know, Jay 